Welcome to Potter's training video on the peer-to-peer -peer networking software. The first step in a peer-to-peer -peer network is going to File and then choosing New Network. Once you choose this, there's a few different icons in here which you're pretty familiar with like Users and Remote Access Code, but the first one is Network Setup. Under Network Setup, this is where we're going to add all of our control panels to the entire network. The first option is Add New Panel. You can choose Add New Panel and select a panel from the list in what you'll have to program later. The typical method and what you'll probably do is program all of your control panels as a standalone, then choose Upload and Add Panel. Once you click this, you'll get the transfer window. It's then going to ask you to enter the IP address of that particular control panel. Once I clicked OK, each panel is going to be displayed now in my list of panels here in the middle of the screen. I'm going to add my other two panels that I have on my network. Now that I have all three control panels configured, I can choose whether or not they're all going to be in the same building or whether they'll be in separate buildings. Now for my application, all three of my panels are going to be in a high-rise building, so in the same building. But if I needed to add additional buildings, I could simply click Add Building. I will keep adding buildings until I get to the appropriate number of buildings that match my application. Once I have the amount of buildings that I need on my system, now I can come up here to the individual panels and say, okay, panel number two is going to be assigned to building number two. And I'm doing this just by clicking in the box and then putting in the number of that particular building. But again, my system's all going to be in the same building, so I'm going to leave all of this as one, and I'm going to delete buildings number two and three. So now that I have my panels added to the network, I can go to my remote access code. Remote access code is similar to what you've been used to in all of our Potter control panels. And so if you change this, it's going to change the remote access username and password for all control panels on this network. Under users, this is going to be very similar to what we've always had under the users tab. So now if I click the plus icon, here's where you can choose which buildings that particular user can control from a network enunciator. So if I only wanted user number three to be able to control buildings number two and three, I could unselect building number one. Or if I wanted to only be able to control building number one, I could unselect building number two and three. This only pertains to network enunciators and will not affect the control of individual control panels. Once you've made all of your selections, you can minimize and then make sure your other selections are according to how you want your setup portrayed. Now we can go to the individual panel tabs at the top and change any information you need to have completed here. All of the information that can be changed under the individual panel tabs are available in separate training videos. Please watch those videos to understand the zones, reporting, LCD enunciator, NCE, and NCF 1000 tabs. Once all of your changes have been made to the individual panels, then we can go to the download icon, save your changes. Now from here, instead of doing the individual IP addresses, you can just download to the network as a network ID of one. So if I press OK, then it's going to download to all of those control panels at the same time. Now I'll have one full peer-to-peer -peer network. Thank you for watching this video on how to program for peer-to-peer -peer panels on the Potter network. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact tech support at the email address or phone number shown on the screen. And as always, don't forget to follow us on social media.